Hello, and welcome back to the ICU doc. This is Tamaris Baranos, and here's another lecture on transthoracic critical care echo. In today's presentation, we'll talk about the subcostal full chamber view, how to get it, and the structures we're looking at. Let's first talk about the ultrasound probe position. With the patient in the supine position, place the transducer flat at about two centimeters inferior to the xiphoid process. Have the indicator of the probe pointing towards the left of the patient at about a three o'clock position. The transducer itself is pointing towards the left shoulder. You should be getting an image looking like this, with all the four chambers fully visible. To optimize the image, you may have to ask the patient to relax their abdominal muscles by flexing his or her knees. You may also further improve the view by acquiring it during a held inspiration. This view can be particularly important when the parastelar windows are suboptimal. You can also use this view to assess the interatrial and interventricular septa for defects, as well as the right ventricular free wall thickness as the ultrasound beam is perpendicular or almost perpendicular to those structures. Let's talk about what we're looking at. The side of the heart that is closer to your probe is the right side of the heart. So you have the right ventricle, right atrium. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle is the tricuspid valve. On the other side, you have the left ventricle, left atrium. Between those structures, you have the mitral valve. Between the right atrium and the left atrium, you have the interatrial septum. And between the right ventricle and the left ventricle, you have the interventricular septum. Because of the angle, the ultrasound beam slices the heart. This specific area of the interventricular septum is the inferoseptal wall. And on the left ventricular wall side, you have the anterior lateral wall. In this view, you can also see the right ventricular free wall or the right ventricular lateral wall, which is right here. Also note that in some patients, you can also see part of the liver, and that's gonna be between the heart and the ultrasound probe. This concludes the lecture on the subcostal four chamber view. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out our website, YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter to make sure you get updates when the new video comes out.